Yeah. Have a good workout. 8.05, Thursday, In and July out. 28th. In and out, kicking the day off strong. And was it a good one? Me and my girl, Sydney <laughs> Adams. Do you have your, do you have your music killed, playing? Just killed the okay. workout. I don't think he's hearing my questions. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a good workout? Great workout. Good. Chest good. is feeling mighty strong and big. Fabulous. Boom, boom. Okay. How was your workout? It was really good. And now it's time to skid out. Sweaty. Good morning and welcome to today's vlog. I already got my workout in this morning. It's about 8.30 and we're about to go on a little walk and then get our day started. I've got a pretty normal Thursday going on, but I figured I would just take this through the weekend. Right? We've got a fun weekend ahead of us. Hey, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're insane. <laughs> but got a good little leg day in, did some cardio. He did some chest. And we've been doing our walks. We were doing sunrise walks for a while, and now we're doing walks after our workout in the, yes. heat, of, in the heat of the day. Then I'm just sure. a normal work day. Get my hair done today. How did I forget that? And then we have just a fun couple days ahead of us. So I just wanted to start today's vlog off, say what's up, and headed on our walk. Hot girl walk. Yeah, HGW. ravenous I'm so hungry because it's so long to be in the chair but I got there at 1 30 and I think I left at like almost 5 5 15 5 30 and it's just so long it's so long but I came home and I started making my cod Jay met me here and he brought me some flowers he's back out doing work so he's not here but I'm putting them in a vase right now and cutting them up. I never used to do that. I used to just like throw them in a clear vase. And now that I started like cutting them and actually making them like fit in a vase, they look so much prettier. I still need to mess around with it a little bit. Tomorrow morning, we're going to a Bucks practice. I got invited to go to like their training camp. And while I was gone, Jay went and got us some shirts to wear, so we'll wear these tomorrow. We're gonna be matching. Um, but it was so sweet, like the Bucks reached out to me. It's so it's so awesome that I get to do these kinds of things. I know that Jay's gonna be really excited to go tomorrow. But I'm gonna finish making my dinner and then that will pretty much be everything going on tonight. So I'll show y'all when I get done. It's really nothing different than what I always do. But I always air fry my salmon or my cod in tin foil and I spray it with avocado oil. This is not my favorite kind of avocado oil. This is just one we got from Publix. There are a couple other ones that I like, or you could like drizzle olive oil on there and season it, and I just throw it in there. And I also threw the green beans in there, so nothing crazy. I'm like, as easy as I can make my recipes, I'm making them. Got that going right now, so that's why that's gonna be so loud in the background. And then I'm making some rice in the microwave right now. I'm telling y'all, as easy as we can make our meals, we're making them. I clean up all of this, but I just love my flowers. Love them. I feel like I need to mess around with this a little bit because these are all wonky. So literally all I do is I put it in tin foil. So I've got my cod and of course it's gonna smoke up my camera. I've got my cod, I sprayed it with some avocado oil or sometimes I'll drizzle avocado oil and then I'll season it and I'll add tomatoes or peppers or onions, whatever I'm gonna do. I put that right in there to cook with the fish. And then this time I did green beans in there as well. And sometimes I'll even put the coconut aminos in there when it's cooking. This time I just did the seasoning and I'm gonna drizzle coconut aminos and some balsamic glaze on top. But it's perfect. It's so, it's literally the easiest thing ever. You can't even tell me that that's not easy. And you can meal prep with this and you can make so many different things. You could do a salad, you could do a bowl, whatever. 
And then I'm doing some cauliflower rice in here in the microwave, easy peasy there as well. And I just add coconut aminos and this balsamic glaze. I got this balsamic glaze from Whole Foods. I have a little bit of pico left and I'll do some spring mix as well. Maybe if I get us in the Here we go. Got Pretty our good. Starbucks. And to start today off, cause I haven't opened up the vlog for today, but it's Friday and we're off to this training camp. We got invited and it's gonna be so fun. We got our Starbucks though. Now that I have my Starbucks, I'm good, right? Yeah, I feel like we've both kind of been in We've been We've been moody this morning, so I we've think needed our coffee. Yeah, our coffee will help. Yeah, it's been a quiet it's been a quiet Seeing morning. Some football. I'm so excited. Yes, and we've been uh I've been getting quizzed on what my positions are. I guess I just need to hold on to my camera. I've been getting quizzed on what my football positions are, right? Yeah. So today I'm gonna be put to the test. And I'm gonna test. know, I'm gonna have to show that all my knowledge of all my different positions on the football field. She's been listening. I have, I think I've learned pretty well. All right, well we're headed there and we'll see you when we get there. I should be able to bring my camera in, right? Yeah. In my purse. Cheers. Are you so excited? I am so excited. Sports. Sports. <laughs> <laughs> Home from the training camp, and now I've got my gym fit on. Well, literally exactly what I was wearing, just minus my t-shirt. And I'm headed to go get a little workout in. So I will see y'all in a little bit. I'm just gonna do some cardio and some upper body. And then we'll get the day going. It's about, it's 11.30. So we spent the whole morning there and it was such a good time. All right, we've got a pre-workout review because I personally think this is my favorite, the cherry lime. So I finally found one that I like. And then he says that the watermelon candy one is his favorite now, right? It's my favorite. Tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Okay, it's been a little bit. I'm headed to go get my nails done. And I'm sure you guys saw my last vlog where I had really long nails and one of my nails broke. I think just because my nails underneath were so weak. Maybe, I don't know. Acrylics are so bad on your nails, but it's one of those things that once you start, it's hard to stop, it's hard to stop. And I was like, I'm just gonna get all my nails taken off. I'm gonna let my nails breathe. I think it's been like three days. I think it's been three days and I am ready for my nails to be back on. So headed to go get something I've never done before and that's three coats of Funny Bunny acrylic nails, almond shape stepping so far out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I'll, I'll forever get that. I'm not even gonna try and go in here thinking I'm gonna do something different because that is, that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, let's go get our nails done. Here's my outfit for today and I've got, these are a Goldie shorts and then I have a Skims tank on and this is a Citizens of Humanity button up. And then I just got these new Vejas. I got them from Revolve. They're so stinking cute. So cute! And then I have my little Gucci purse. And we're headed in. I'm wearing real clothes today. Are we impressed? All right, the nails are done. I got Funny Buddy. Are we surprised? Are we surprised? I feel like a brand new human. Again, I do need to like scrub off my self tan off my hands because they're a hot mess but it feels so good to have my nails done. And I walked in and she was like, funny bunny. I said, funny bunny, that's what I want. Um, but I'm just headed home. I think that I'm just going to lay low tonight. I want to clean my apartment. I really want to watch this new show. It's called Made. Well, it's not a new show, it's new for me. I watched the first episode last night. I am hooked. I feel like it's gonna be one that I'm like very emotionally attached to, but that's what I'm gonna do right now and I'm gonna make some dinner. I really, I still haven't gotten groceries, which I really, really need. Literally absolutely no groceries, yet somehow I managed to make, this actually looks really good. 
I made some salmon tacos. I had frozen salmon fillets, and then I did the siete tortillas. We've got a mess over here, but that's okay. So I just did my cassava flour tortillas, and then did some spring mix, some literally the only things I had. And then I also did this balsamic glaze and some tomatoes. And I also forgot to add the cauliflower rice, so I'm gonna add that too. They actually look pretty good. <laughs> the much needed grocery haul complete. I went to Whole Foods because I absolutely could not go another second without groceries. So let's do a grocery haul, my friends. Okay, here's everything I got from Whole Foods. I feel like you guys have pretty much seen me get the same thing for so long, but I'll just show you a couple of the things that I got that were new this time. So I got this kind of peanut butter. I feel like I'm always trying a different kind of peanut butter, um, but this one's the one ingredient peanut butter. So I always try and get ones that like, I get cashew butter that just has cashews or almond butter that just has almonds. And then I got peanut butter with one ingredient, peanuts. I got some ground turkey, I got frozen cauliflower, frozen spinach, frozen strawberries, and then I got some, I always get, um, what are these called? Red cabbage, pico, um, blueberries, green beans, uh, all my greens and everything. I've got coconut aminos, rice cauliflower. Um, I always need to have like some jasmine rice here in case Jay is gonna eat here because I always do cauliflower rice preference, honestly, and then look at all of these beverages, absurd. Um, I have two of my Hue bars already in the refrigerator, but this is the one that I'm gonna have a little bit of tonight. Oh, I'm turning on my stove on accident. Um, this is the cashew butter with raspberry and dark chocolate. Okay then, okay. Uh, some mushrooms, I've got some carrots, but I am, last time I got these Ardor drinks and I really like them, but I haven't tried the grapefruit kind or the tropical mango. So we're trying a couple new ones there. And then these flow waters just kind of have like a little bit of a hint of um, whatever flavor they are. And these ones are blackberry and hibiscus and strawberry and rose. Yeah, I got strawberry and rose and blackberry and hibiscus. And then I got all sorts of Olipop. And I actually just got a notification saying that my Olipop, because Olipop sent me a big case of their new flavor, which is amazing. I'm so thankful. And I saw that that arrived. So I'm actually going to have an absolute crap ton of Olipop in my refrigerator. I got some more avocado oil, some bars, and avocados. I think that's everything, right? Is that everything? I'm thinking so. A good little stock up for sure. But I also already have, um, like I had for dinner, I had salmon, so I already had the salmon fillets. These are the wild caught salmon fillets that I get, and I just air fry them, and then I take off the skin, because I'm like really weird about the skin of salmon. I already had some of the sweet potato slices. I go through those pretty quickly, and then I already had bread um, and siete wraps, things like that, you know? I think I've got some cod left, too. I'm going to stock all this up and go get my Olipop package, but I think that's everything. All right, here's my gym fit for today. Happy Saturday. This shirt, I got this a while ago. What is this one? This top, CSB. I honestly can't remember where I got this one from. I got it off Instagram, but, um, or I found it on Instagram, but I got this little sports bra on and then my Align biker shorts. Of course, my RYZs, I actually got a fresh new pair because I think this is my third pair of the exact same RYZs just because I wear them so stinking much that they get kind of beat up and I wear them outside for walks and whatnot, but they look so squeaky clean. Time to go to work out in and get this Saturday going. All right, here's what I'm having for breakfast this morning after my workout. I had a bar before I went and worked out, but I'm just gonna have a smoothie. I did a vegan chocolate protein powder. I did my oat milk, and then I'm doing frozen strawberries. And then on my rice cake, I'm doing my new peanut butter, and then I'm doing some blueberries and honey and cacao nibs. Just went downstairs to grab a package and they're my new Lululemon shoes. They're actually more green than what I expected. I thought they were more of like a gray green color, but I like them. These are the sage ones, which I don't know why I was expecting them to be more gray. I actually really like 
awesome. I don't think I have any shoes that are that color. And I think I have some Lululemon leggings that will look pretty cool. Like I feel like that will look really good with my green outfit or I even have a color that looks literally the exact same. But my other Lululemon shoes that I got are, ooh, it's a mess in here kind of. Um, my other Lululemon shoes are these bright yellow or they're like light yellow for me. They're kind of bright. So yeah, now I have two charge feel shoes and then I also have maybe these are called charge field too but the other shoes that I showed you guys last time so yeah these came in and I think I really like them holy frickin heat wave oh my gosh it is let me put my steering wheel down a smidge I don't know if I even know how to put my yeah there we go I'm I am headed to go do a little shopping I haven't really like just gone shopping like I've gone to Lululemon a couple times look how cute my outfit is I've gone to Lululemon a couple times just because like I work with Lululemon I do a lot of like Lululemon hauls and everything but I haven't like taken a trip to Zara or gone I really want to get a why is this so loud I really want to get a ring to go on this hand because I always wear these two rings on this hand and this one's from Gucci and this one's from Louis Vuitton, or this one's from Gucci and this one's from Louis Vuitton. And I like love having staple um, rings and everything that I can wear every day. So I really wanted one for my left hand and I think that's what I'm going to look for today. I don't know, I don't know where from, but I'm headed to the International Mall and I love my outfit, so I wanted to show you guys before I go. Um, I should have shown you guys, like, so I could show you my full body, but I've got this Skims tank top on. It's the same one that I wore yesterday, but it's in, like, a cream color. And then I have, these are called Pistola pants, I think, and they're from Revolve. And then I have my little Gucci slides on. Headed to the International Mall, which is the mall here in Tampa. Drinking this um, beverage of the day is this grapefruit, pink grapefruit Ardor sparkling water. Six out of ten. Not much flavor, but not bad, honestly, for sparkling water. I, I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a seven. But regardless, headed to go do some shopping. Just wanted to say hi. I haven't really like said much since I got home from the gym a little bit ago. But headed to go do a little bit of shopping and then I'm going to lunch with Jay and then a little bit. I think we're going to a place called Salt Shack, which I'm excited about here in Tampa. And then I think later tonight we're going to Sarasota. So an exciting little Saturday ahead of us. But it's still early in the day and I'm so excited to do a little shopping. I just got done shopping and I figured I would show you what I got. Okay, so definitely like I've been thinking on this purchase for quite some time So I got this Gucci and this Louis Vuitton one a bit ago and I wear them literally every single day Well today I went to David Yerman and I got two um, Everyday rings for this hand and then I also got these earrings So that's what I got at David Yerman, but I wanted some like really good quality rings that last a long time that I don't need to replace or that won't tarnish really easily I restocked on my way so I got the shampoo conditioner and then also the detox shampoo which you guys know I already use and then I was really excited to get the necessary deodorant gel I saw Maggie McDonald say something about this and the body serum is that what this one is yeah she said something about both of these the body serum and the deodorant and then I already use their body wash so I got some new body wash sorry I hope I wasn't chomping on my gum and then I also got all new brushes because I was in desperate need of brushes so I got um well I'll show you all the numbers so you guys can see what ones I got basically I needed all new brushes because I've been using like the same brush for my foundation for my blush and for my contour like I literally just use the same brush which I know I'm like really not gonna make up so I need to start using the correct brushes for whatever I'm doing so that maybe I can actually slowly learn how to do my makeup and then I also got this candle which is the Tahitian coconut vanilla smells like a dang dream and then I got a beauty blender and I think that's everything that I got from Sephora that was like oh a pricey little 
pricey little trip to Sephora, but they were things that I definitely needed. They were like, I went there knowing I needed uh, shampoo and conditioner and new brushes. And then I wanted to restock on my body wash as well. I'm headed home. I just wanted to show you guys what I got. It was a successful little trip to the mall and I didn't even set foot in Lululemon. Go girl. All right, we're taste testing the new Olipop. I haven't even had it yet. I'm having an orange one right now. So it's supposed to resemble Dr. Pepper? Yeah. You like Dr. Pepper? I probably, I probably had one Dr. Pepper. I don't know if I've ever had Dr. Pepper. I don't think so, the guy. Yeah. When I was, it was Sprite. I liked Sprite for a long time, too. Diet Coke was mine. So the smell is there. Let me smell. Yeah, it does. I feel like I had to have had Dr. Pepper at some point. How's it taste? Yeah, taste, I mean, definitely. It, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it tastes fine, but if I, I like it. Yeah, I mean, I would rate it, it's good. I would drink this, Yeah, absolutely. I think my favorite is orange, or orange cream skull still. And then I have, yeah, orange squeeze or the orange cream skull kind. And then I like the strawberry vanilla. And then that one's up there. I don't, I don't know. I love the fruity kind. Like grape is definitely my favorite. But I feel like if you like Dr. Pepper or you like the Coca-Cola ones or the root beer ones, you'd like the ones that are supposed to taste like those. Do you agree with that? Yes. So like I'm not a big root beer drinker or like a Coca-Cola person. Mm -hmm. So I like fruity fruit fruit. Time for lunch. Let's do it, baby. Time to head to the salt shack, am I right? You are right. Let's do it. Yum. You want to do yours and we'll cheers it? Boom. Cheers. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, we're headed to wait, Pop, Pop Stroke, right? Yeah. Mini golf, hang out with some friends. We're kind of matching. <laughs> Just to throw it on. I've worn so many outfits today, but headed to Sarasota, have some dinner and whatnot. morning it's the next morning I'm right now pulling into Starbucks why does it look like it's closed all right so you have 11 29 thank you thank you so much have a good one thanks all right I had a quick little intermission 
Can you guys tell I just woke up not too long ago? Um, I have not talked yet today, but I haven't said anything since last night because I got home at like, I don't even think it was like much after 11 o'clock, but I was beat tired. Like I literally went in, took my makeup off and I was, I was a goner. I was in bed and passed out within minutes. Um, so we went to Pop Stroke last night, which that was like, and it's owned by Tiger Woods and, or at least it's like Tiger Woods, Pop Stroke by Tiger Woods or whatever. And it was basically, it gave me like top golf vibes, but for mini or for Putt Putt, which I feel like is so cool because Putt Putt was kind of on like on its way out, I would say. We had dinner there and then we got, um, got like a table and you could play cornhole, you could play, um, what is it called? Ping pong. Like, and I know that they have, I know that they have a couple different locations for that. I know that Orlando has one, I think Fort Myers. And like, I'm so surprised that Tampa doesn't. We went to Sarasota, so we drove an hour to get there. But yeah, that was, that was so much fun. We were with a group of friends. I think there were like eight of us. So I didn't want to like pull out my phone and, and vlog too much, but it was, it was fun. Hopefully I got enough footage that you could like tell how cool it was there. But if you have one near you, I feel like that, I thought it was more fun than Top Golf even. So, and that's a statement because I love Top Golf. Uh, one way or another, I figured, <laughs> okay, okay, Sydney, can't even talk. One way or another, this vlog I know is gonna be a long one because I feel like I've done so much in the last couple days. So I probably should just end off this vlog. Getting ready for church when I get home. And yeah, I think so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see y'all next time. I keep looking in the viewfinder because it's so bright in one spot. Um, I love y'all, I adore y'all, and I will see you at my next vlog.